वेलकम टू फूड फीड इन्फो डॉट कॉम फैट मेटाबलिज्म इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ सैचूरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फैटी एसिड्स इज अ की और सेंट्रल इनर्जी जील्डिंग पाथवे इन मैनी ऑर्गेनिजम बॉडी टिश्यूज पर्टिकुलरली इन केस ऑफ मैमेलियन हार्ट एंड लिवर फैटी एसिड ऑक्सीडेशन प्रोवाइड्स 80% परसेंट ऑफ द एनर्जेटिक नीड्स अंडर ऑल फिजोलॉजिकल सरकमस्टांसिस द इलेक्ट्रॉन रिमूव फ्राम द फैटी एसिड ड्यूरिंग ऑक्सीडेशन पास थ्रू द रेस्पिरेटरी चेन एंड दैट रिजल्ट इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ए टी पी एस दर इज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एसिटाइल को ए फ्राम फैटी एसिड सो इट गेट ऑक्सीडाइज इन टू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड थ्रू टी सी एस साइकिल सो इट रिजल्ट इन फर्दर इनर्जी कंजर्वेशन हाईवर इन सम ऑफ द स्पीशीज एंड इन टिश्यूज द एसिटाइल को है सम आल्टरनेटिव पाथवेज लाइक इन केस ऑफ लिवर एसिटाइल को ए इट मे बी कन्वर्टेड टू कीटोन बॉडीज विच आर वाटर सालूबल एंड they are then exported to the brain or other tissues when there is a deficiency of glucose or body need a glucose uh, during glucose deficiency and uh, in case of high plant this acetyl coa it serve as a biosynthetic precursor and only act as a secondary uh, fuel providing substance so uh, the most common pathway of this fatty acid oxidation is known as the beta oxidation so it is defined as the oxidation of fatty acid uh, on the beta carbon so it's a cyclic process and in each cycle there is a production of active fatty acid or fatty acid acyl coa which is degraded to yield acetyl coa it's a two carbon carbon compound that enter in the tca cycle and then yield energy so as a after the completion of one cycle of this beta oxidation there is a production of two carbon acetyl coa and two carbon less than the original fatty acid acyl coa so that fatty acid acyl coa then and repeatedly uh, pass through this beta oxidation process and it yield acetyl coa so for an uh, for example if there is a 16 carbon uh, fatty acid so it yield 8 acetyl coa so that enter uh, in to the tca cycle and yield energy uh, this beta oxidation process is going on in most of the tissues at mitochondrial site uh, but it uh, usually do not occur in the brain rbcs and adrenal medulla then comes the metabolism of fat through this beta oxidation so there are three stages of beta oxidation in the first stage there is the activation of fatty acid and that occurs in the cytosol in the second step Uh, there is a transport of fatty acid into mitochondria and in the third step uh, there is a proper beta oxidation in the mitochondria during the first uh, stage of beta oxidation which is the activation of fatty acid and it goes on and it occurs in the cytosol what happen the fatty acid is converted into fatty acyl coa so as an example uh, if there is a palmitic acid so this palmitic acid is converted into palmitoyl coa uh, this step uh, require thiokinase or acyl coa synthetase activity and during this process uh, again magnesium is required and coa is also required so what happen when this fatty acid or palmitic acid is converted into acyl coa or palmitoyl coa 
there is a utilization of one atp and there is a production of one amp so it means uh, two atps they get utilized this process because atp is first converted into adp and then adp into amp so two atps they get utilized and there is a production of two inorganic phosphate molecules so this step is energy consuming step during oxidation of the fatty acids this is the first step of uh, beta oxidation that is the activation of fatty acid and it occur in the cytosol uh, this uh, conversion is catalyzed by fatty acyl coa synthetase and inorganic pyrophosphate fatty acid activation by formation of the fatty acid acyl coa derivative occur in two step so in the first step uh, the carboxylate ion displaces the outer two the beta and gamma phosphates of atp to form a fatty acyl adenylate the mixed anhydride of a carboxylic acid and a phosphoric acid the other product is inorganic phosphorus or you can say inorganic pyrophosphate these are the two uh, then converted into two inorganic phosphorus and uh, this is an excellent uh, leaving group that is immediately hydrolyzed to two uh, inorganic phosphate and uh, it pull the reaction in forward direction so in the step 2 the thiol group of coenzyme a uh, that carries out uh, the nucleophilic attack on the enzyme bound mix and hydrate and it displaces the amp and it form thioester fatty acid acyl coa so the overall reaction is highly exergonic and if you look at uh, uh, the production of energy uh, there is a 19 kilojoule uh, from this uh, pyrophosphate conversion into inorganic uh, uh, two molecules of inorganic phosphate and minus 15 kilojoule per mole uh, from the conversion of this fatty acid into fatty acid acyl coa so in total uh, uh, for the uh, for this two step process uh, it become 34 uh, kilojoule per mole is the energy uh, production during this uh, first step of the beta oxidation so in summary two inorganic phosphate molecules and one fatty acyl coa is produced uh, during the activation of fatty acid in the cytosol the next step in uh, beta oxidation is the transport of fatty acid into mitochondria uh, because beta oxidation uh, occur in the mitochondria and there is a requirement of transportation of fatty acid acyl coa from cytosol into mitochondria so that it can undergo oxidation uh, for this uh, process there is a requirement of carnitine carnitine is a transporter consisting of beta hydroxy uh, gamma trimethyl amino butyrate and this reaction uh, require an enzyme which is known as carnitine acyl transferase 1 carnitine acyl transferase 1 is present on the outer surface of inner mitochondrial membrane and it transfers acyl group to the carnitine so carnitine is then converted into acyl carnitine in the cytosol so during the second step of beta oxidation that is actually the transport of fatty acid into mitochondria uh, there is a formation of acyl carnitine that is brought about by uh, this carnitine acyl transferase 1 so acyl carnitine is transported across the membrane to mitochondrial matrix by a carrier protein translucase so in the cytosol step what happened the carnitine through cat1 is converted into acyl carnitine then through a carrier protein uh, which is a translucase it is then uh, pass through the inner mitochondrial membrane and enter into the mitochondrial matrix 
so this translocase uh, you can say act as a carrier protein and acyl carnitine is then transported in to the mitochondrial matrix in the form of acyl carnitine so in this way uh, this step is completed where uh, fatty acid acyl coa through its formation into acyl carnitine uh, is passed through from cytosol into mitochondria then comes the next step because uh, before going uh, into the beta oxidation process the fatty acid should get separated from the uh, carnitine acyl uh, carnitine uh, so the after the transportation of fatty acid into mitochondria there is another enzyme which is known as carnitine 2 or cat2 carnitine acyl transferase 2 so this cat2 found on the inner surface uh, of inner membrane it convert acyl carnitine to acyl coa so it means during this step the acyl carnitine actually re releases the acyl coa and it also uh, relieving the carnitine so during this step the there is a release of acyl coa first thing and second the carnitine which gets separated from the acyl coa it then come back to the cytosol for further utilization so in this way uh, the second uh, step of this uh, uh, beta oxidation is completed the carnitine release it return to the cytosol for further or for reuse so from mitochondrial matrix uh, due to the presence of this carnitine acyl transferase 2 there is a uh, production of or release of you can say acyl coa and carnitine that to the So up till now we have discussed the activation of fatty acid in the cytosol, the conversion of fatty acid into fatty acyl CoA, and then uh, during the uh, during this step uh, we get an activated form of fatty acid, and uh, from this activated fatty acid there is a requirement it should be transported to the mitochondria and by uh, the utilization of cat1 and cat2 and translocase uh, carrier protein uh, this uh, activated fatty acyl coa pass through uh, the uh, pass through uh, this uh, uh, these two steps and enter into the mitochondria and then uh, within the mitochondria uh, through cat2 uh, the carnitine gets separated and uh, uh, acyl coa released for beta oxidation process so the next step uh, or the third step of uh, this beta oxidation is the actual beta oxidation of the fatty acid so in the next slides we will discuss about beta oxidation in the mitochondria so during uh, this beta oxidation uh, we will discuss or first we will uh, discuss about uh, the beta oxidation of saturated fatty acids uh, so uh, this beta oxidation is in the mitochondrial matrix and again uh, there are four steps of this beta oxidation uh, which are carried out uh, for the complete uh, we can say the oxidation of uh, the fatty acids uh, it means uh, the production of the acetyl coa then acetyl coa enter into the tca cycle and uh, produces the energy so the first step is the oxidation step in the uh, beta oxidation during this step uh, there is a enzyme requirement and that is acyl coa dehydrogenase the second step uh, in the beta oxidation is the hydration and it is brought by enoyl coa hydratase the third step is again oxidation and here hydroxy acyl coa dehydrogenase is required and the fourth step is the thiolytic cleavage and there is a requirement of keto acyl coa thiolase so four step and four enzymes they are required for the complete oxidation of a fatty acyl coa into acetyl coa so uh, this is the uh, complete uh, beta oxidation uh, of fatty acid uh, here we uh, can see uh, 
द एसाइल को ए दैट इज़ एन एक्टिवेटेड फैटी एसड एंड इट कैरिड फ्राम साइटोसोल इन टू माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया सो ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट स्टेप विच इज ऑक्सीडेशन एसाइल को ए डी हाइड्रोजीनेस कन्वर्ट एसाइल को ए इन टू ट्रांस इन ऑयल को ए एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस स्टेप देर इज़ ए प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एफ ए डी एच टू दैट गेट यू कैन से ऑक्सीडाइज एंड इट रिलीज इज टू ए टी पीज और थ्रू इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द शटल इट माइट प्रोड्यूस टू और वन पॉइंट फाइव ए टी पीज सो ड्यूरिंग द सेकेंड स्टेप ट्रांस इन ऑयल को ए इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी एसाइल को ए थ्रू द एक्टिविटी ऑफ इनाइल को ए हाइड्रेटेज इंजाइम सो दिस इज हाइड्रेटेज एक्टिविटी एंड दर इज एन एडिशन ऑफ वाटर मालिक्यूल एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस स्टेप दर इज नो एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन देन इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी एसाइल को ए इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू बीटा कीटो एसाइल को ए अगेन देर इज ए प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एन डी एच एंड थ्रू अलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन देर इज ए प्रोडक्शन ऑफ थ्री और टू पॉइंट फाइव ए टी पीज एंड इंजाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस स्टेप इज बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी एसाइल को ए डी हाइड्रोजीनेस सो इन द लास्ट स्टेप और फोर्थ स्टेप दिस बीटा कीटो एसाइल को ए इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू एसाइल को ए एंड एट द सेम टाइम देर इज ए प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एसीटाइल को ए एंड देर इज ए रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ को इंजाइम ए टू बी एडिड एंड इंजाइम रिक्वायर्ड इज थायोलेस सो ड्यू टू द थायोलेस एक्टिविटी देर इज ए प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वन एसीटाइल को ए एंड देर इज ए टू कार्बन लेस फैटी एसाइल को ए लाइक इफ इट इज ए पॉमेटिक एसिड सिक्सटीन कार्बन फैटी एसिड सो देर इज द लेफ्ट ओवर एसाइल को ए इज ऑफ फोर्टीन कार्बन्स बिकॉज टू कार्बन्स दे आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू एसीटाइल को ए एंड दे गेट ऑक्सीडाइज थ्रू क्रैप साइकिल एंड दे रिलीज इज द एनर्जी सो दिस एसाइल को ए इज द एक्टिवेटेड फॉर्म इट अंडर गो द सेम फोर स्टेप्स ऑक्सीडेशन डी हाइड्रोजीनेस एंड दैन सॉरी ऑक्सीडेशन और डी हाइड्रोजीनेस दैन हाइड्रेशन एंड दैन अगेन ऑक्सीडेशन एंड दैन थायोलिस एक्टिविटी थायोलिटिक एक्टिविटी एंड अगेन टू कार्बन द गेट सेपरेटेड एंड द लेफ्ट ओवर फैटी एस आयल को ए विल हैव दैन ट्वेल्व कार्बन्स बिकॉज टू इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप टू इन द सेकेंड स्टेप द गेट सेपरेटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एसिट आयल को ए द लेफ्ट ओवर हैव ट्वेल्व कार्बन्स सो दिस प्रोसेस कंटिन्यू अंटिल ऑल ऑफ द टू कार्बन दे आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू एसिट आयल के सो फॉर अ सिक्सटीन कार्बन सेचूरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स इट मीन देर इज अ सेवन साइकल्स इन टोटल एंड देर इज अ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एट मालिक्यूल्स ऑफ टू कार्बन कंपाउंड दैट इज एसिटाइल को ए सो देर इज अ यू कैन से अ ब्रीफ समरी एंड आई एम थैंकफुल और ड्यूली एक्नोलेज द लहन इंजर बायो केमिस्ट्री बाय लहन इंजर एंड दिस इज चैप्टर सेवनटीन फोटोग्राफ एंड इफ यू लुक एट द स्टेज वन दैट इज अ बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन एंड देर इज रिलीज ऑफ टू मालिक्यूल्स एट ईच स्टेप एंड इफ यू काउंट दिस इज ए वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन टोटल सेवन साइकल्स दैट रिजल्ट इन अ रिलीज ऑफ एट एसिटाइल को ए सो दिज एट एसिटाइल को ए दैन ड्यूरिंग द स्टेज टू दे एंटर इन टू द सिट्रिक एसिड साइकिल एंड दे प्रोड्यूज सिक्सटीन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड सिक्सटी फोर अलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो दैट रिजल्ट इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी दिस इज एनदर प्रजेंटेशन ऑफ दिस बीटो ऑक्सीडेशन वेयर दिस डिस्क्रिप्शन इज थ्रू फॉर्मूलाज सो सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द एक्टिविटी ऑफ डिफरेंट इंजाइम्स द फोर मेन इंजाइम्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन द बीटो ऑक्सीडेशन दे आर नंबर वन एसाइल को ए डी हाइड्रोजीनेस द सेकेंड वन इज इन ऑयल को ए हाइड्रोटेस नेक्स्ट इज हाइड्रोक्सी एसाइल को ए डी हाइड्रोजीनेस एंड द लास्ट वन इज कीटो एसाइल को ए थायोलेस 
if we look at the first enzyme acyl coa dehydrogenase so this enzyme uh, cause oxidation of acyl coa and that result in the formation of true uh, two trans in in oil coa so this dehydrogenase enzyme creates a double bond between the second and third carbon down from the coa group on acyl coa and in this process uh, there is a production of 1 fadh2 the next is uh, the enoyl coa hydratase this enzyme actually removes the double bond just formed uh, in the process of adding a hydroxyl group to the third carbon down from the coa group and a hydrogen on the second carbon down from the coa group next uh, hydroxy acyl coa dehydrogenase uh, it uh, removes the hydrogen uh, in the hydroxyl group just attach and in the process produces a nadh so in the final step keto acyl coa thiolase attaches a coa group uh, on the third carbon down from the coa group resulting in the formation of two molecules an acetyl coa and an acyl coa that is a two carbon shorter than the original fatty acid so this is a beta oxidation of palmitate so at each step there is a production of two uh, carbon compound acetyl coa and the leftover is then undergo the same beta oxidation process so if we start from 16 carbon palmitate it is first activated into palmitate coa and then through beta oxidation it is then yield one acetyl coa and remaining 14 carbon fatty acid that is maristal uh, maristic fatty acid so it is con it is uh, uh, in the form of acyl coa a uh, maristal maristal coa then laurel coa caproyl coa and finally uh, butyryl coa and acetyl coa so at each uh, splitting uh, of step uh, the two carbon acetyl coa is produced and that result in a yield of 4 moles of atps 1.5 atp is produced uh, when there is a production of fadh and 2.5 moles of atp is uh, through nadh uh, oxidation so in total 4 moles of atp is produced at each uh, completion of the cycle of this beta oxidation and the remaining acyl coenzyme undergoes uh, the same series of reaction and the process continue until the carbon chain has been completely converted to acetyl coenzyme a uh, this enters the citric acid cycle and is completely oxidized into carbon dioxide and water and that uh, complete metabolism result in the production of 10 moles of atp so during the initial uh, ligase reaction or uh, the first step when the acid is converted into its activative form the atp is converted into amp so this step is uh, utilizing the uh, atp and uh, this is an energy consuming step whereas the rest of the steps they yield energy so since the initial ligase reaction is necessary only once for each molecule more atp is produced for the same expenditure of energy by the oxidation of long rather than short chain fatty acids so it mean long chain fatty acid yield more energy because only uh, during the first step of uh, activation of the enzyme there is a utilization of the energy whereas if there is a short chain fatty acid so that in total uh, uh, they will yield less net energy the oxidation of the 16 carbon uh, palmitate uh, example is here now we look at uh, the energies Uh, which get from uh, this oxidation now we look at the energies which are produced as a result of uh, this oxidation of palmitate coa this is a complete reaction 7 coa uh, they are utilized 7 fad and 7 nad and 7 water molecules that result in a production of 8 acetyl coa 7 fad 7 nad and 7 hydrogen so 
this is about the complete uh, picture of this uh, palmitic acid oxidation where uh, through seven repetitive cycles of beta oxidation uh, there is a net production of 129 atp but keep in mind here we have considered the production of two atps from fadh and three atps from nadh so in total it yield 131 atps and during the first step there is a utilization of uh, energy in the form of uh, this activation of palmitic acid into palmitoyl coa so uh, 131 minus 2 is equal to 129 so we in total uh, we have 129 atp uh, but uh, uh, we if we consider uh, uh, the utilization uh, of this uh, palmitoyl coa or its oxidation and uh, the production of 1.5 atp from fad and 2.5 atp from nadh in total we get 108 atps and in the initial step there is a utilization of two moles of atp so total or the net gain of atps per mole of palmitate is 106 uh here uh, this is a uh, picture from the previous slide where uh, there is a net production of 129 atp whereas in this case uh, if we consider 1.5 and 2.5 atp from fadh and nadh respectively uh, the net gain is 106 so so don't confuse uh, just consider uh, the amount of atps uh, produced from fadh2 and nadh2 so either it would be 106 or 129 and uh, next little bit about uh, the regulation of uh, beta oxidation so uh, number one is through the supply of fatty acids uh, i will just read out these lines use of fatty acid by tissues is proportional to the plasma free fatty acid level and so fatty acid oxidation is regulated at the level of adipose tissues metabolism the example is during uncontrolled diabetes and fasting uh, there is a uh, fatty acid oxidation and yield in ketone bodies particularly but uh, during the diabetes second is uptake of fatty acid first was about the supply of fatty acid second is the uptake of fatty acid oxidation is also regulated by the enzyme which regulate entry of these fatty acid into mitochondrial matrix so if uh, the uptake is there then uh, cat1 is inhibited by malonyl coa so it means uh, the fatty acid they will not undergo uh, oxidation uh, if uh, the malonyl coa is there so it inhibit the cat1 Uh, this is a key regulation sites of uh, fatty acid beta oxidation not going into detail uh, you can uh, check from the picture and uh, this is all about this beta oxidation of fatty acids and uh, uh, if you have any query uh, you can ask uh, through your questions thank you